Hey guys, welcome to Extra Donkey Garage. I'm making a new video today. I'm working on my uh, my fox body, and I'm gonna remove this old alternator, and I'm gonna upgrade it because I got my hands on a uh, on a 6G alternator. So I'm gonna throw that in with uh, with some. 4 gauge wire, um, some wire clips, and then uh, I'll show you how to how to throw this in real quick. And then I got a couple other projects I'm gonna do, and I got some uh, roller rockers I'm gonna throw in on this thing on my GT40 heads, and then I got some really nice uh, new valve covers I want to put on on this also. So let's get going. All right. Here's the alternator. And here's the wires. All right, it's got these. We're gonna take those. And we're gonna, I'm gonna take those, and we're gonna take these, and we're gonna put these right off on the side here. And then we're gonna come back to these, and then I'm gonna show you how to wire these up and how we pretty much get rid of all of this on the 6G. And then this harness here, we're going to splice into the harness on the 6G. And we're only going to need two wires out of this. And then we're going to run a, uh, a power wire for the uh, alternator also. Okay. So now I'm going to pull this out and we'll go from there. All right. <clears throat> All right, here we are. I already test fit the, uh, the 6G alternator. You can see I have a... Uh, a modified bracket already so I didn't have to worry about cutting anything out or uh, or doing any type of modifications um, I test fit it fits good and pulled the wires off here's the wires that come with the uh, the 2g alternator the stock wiring you're not gonna need most of these wires what you're gonna need is you're gonna need these two for the 6g alternator okay it's a it's like a green and uh, a green and looks like just a green and red stripe wire Let's see if you can see it right there okay and it's a yellow wire these are the only two wires you're gonna need cut all these leave yourself a little but cut these here this white wire here that jumps that's for the stator 6g alternators have a internal stator so you don't need that wire anymore and then these are just extra power wires that don't really do anything else um, you can see the wear on them zoom in right there you can see the wear on the stock ones you could pretty much see the wire there I don't know why it won't focus all right so it's pretty shot already and then I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it down here and then I'm just gonna cap it here and that's gonna be the end of that and then these two wires I'm gonna splice into the new alternator also I started running the four gauge wire with a clip Okay, for the back of it, and then I'm going to run that all the way around. Okay, uh, now we're all done installing, and uh, we're going to give it a shot. <clears throat> you can see I got the wire here. I looped it underneath of it, and it's all taped up. That's the 4-gauge hot, and then the two wires I spliced that were required off the uh, original harness. And then I, you can see it right here. i got to tuck it away a little better here, but here's the loom that I spliced into like this. Okay, this is where I cut here, and this is the four gauge, and then I ran it all under here. I gotta tidy it up a little bit, but as you can see, it comes out here, and then I gotta go right to the battery. I wanted to test it here like this. I'll probably splice it right underneath and connect everything here, um, and that's where the alternator runs. And uh, let's give it a let's give it a quick shot. Okay. We'll see the voltmeter.
6G alternator out of a Ford Taurus. Um, seems to be working good. Um, I'll keep testing it. If uh, I see any problems with anything or you guys have any comments, let me know. And if I see anything, I'll, I'll update. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye.